Hi you guys, welcome back to my channel. So today, or this evening, I should say, I wanted to film a video that's different than I think any other video I filmed on my channel. And I was inspired to do this video by Auntie Jackie, Jackie Ina, you know, Jackie, 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 Jackie. Jackie. I'm not about to just wreck her song like that. If you know, you know. But um, she did a video recently on, it was like unpopular opinions, makeup brands that have fallen off and I'm like, I always think about these hair brands that have fell off. So that being said, um, and I said fell off purposely instead of fallen off. Like don't, I didn't like confuse my tenses. That was like the name of her video. I think like brands that fell off. So mine's gonna be brands that fell off. Okay, just wanna clarify that. Um, I don't know why I felt the need to, but I did it and we're here now. But um, I wanted to do this because this has been on my mind a lot and I kind of wanted to have a conversation in the comments to see what you guys think because I have my own theories and reasoning behind why I think that these brands fell off, but we'll just go ahead and get into it. And I also want to put forward a disclaimer saying that just because I'm saying that these brands fell off does not mean that I don't have a full arsenal of their products in my stash. Okay, I'm just telling you my opinion on, I, I can hold those two truths constant at the same time. Okay, like they don't, it's not like they're like mutually exclusive. Okay, so um, that being said, let's just go ahead and get into it. So the first brand, which I feel like in my mind seems the most obvious. And if you watch my last, or maybe it was the video, girl, I don't know. I can't be bothered to keep up with what I'm doing. But it was a video when I was talking about uh, the Ulta items that were on sale is Diva Curl. And I don't feel like I necessarily need to explain why I feel like this brand fell off. But the reason that I want to talk about it is because did it fall off? Like, did it? Really did it? Because there was this major backlash. Of course, there's lawsuits that are ongoing at the current moment. But what got me thinking about this is when I saw that Diva Curl was on, like they're they're still promoting their hair products, obviously, like they can't just stop and lay down and die just because they're having um, controversy. I mean, controversy seems a little bit understated, like some people's hair is falling out, but they can't just stop, you know, what they're doing. So that being said, I did find it interesting because the product that they had on sale was one that had amazing reviews. So I'm wondering, are people still actively trying Diva Curl? Um, I honestly think prior to this happening with the backlash about them, um, you know, their products causing people's hair to fall off, I personally think they fell off. And if you take a look back, I want to say around like 2015-ish, I feel like people could not stop talking about Diva Curl, Diva Cuts, the Diva Sean Salon. Is that what it's called? I might just butcher that, but I think that's what it's called, where you go to the actual salon and it was a whole thing to get like a haircut. And then I remember maybe about a year after that, you know what? That might've been in like 2013, 2014 actually, because I remember maybe like a year after that whole wave started, there was the whole, do not get a diva cut if you ever want to wear your hair straight because people's haircuts was coming out looking tragic. I'm talking about super uneven cuts. And to me, that always made sense. Like I was never interested in getting a curly cut because I have different curl patterns in my head. So how you cut the front of my hair, if you cut it based on my curl pattern, and then you cut the back of my hair based on my curl pattern, I'm going to have, like, it seems like the front of my hair is going to be way longer than the back of my hair because my curl pattern is looser here. So you would have to cut more off to get it to match the tighter curl pattern in the back. You see what I'm saying? And vice versa if, you know, your curl pattern is different or you have different hair types in your head. So that being said, I always thought, I'm like, mm, no, I'm gonna let you guys do it. It looks gorgeous, but I'm gonna let you guys do it. And when done correctly, I've loved the results. Like I said, it's not for me, but I personally love the results. Um, but I started seeing backlash after that. And then also a lot of it came from it might not have necessarily been Diva Curl because I don't want to pretend like they pioneered curly cuts, but I do feel like they were the catalyst for more people to feel comfortable getting their hair cut in a curly state. And then it wasn't just that, it was the whole method of how they styled your hair and, and the time they took and they went through and defined every single curl. And every time I saw a video, these people left the salon 
hair was looking right. But to also be fair, I feel like if you take the time to define every single curl in your hair, like how could it not look right? I just personally don't have that time. And although clearly I love talking about hair, I do not care that much where I'm defined. I barely, like, I think I've probably like done like little shingles in my hair, like probably five times in my whole life. And that took like 25, 30 minutes. And I just was annoyed after that, like never again. So, um, yeah, I feel like it's just like they had a high and then now they're, but like I said, this was even prior to, prior to the lawsuits coming out and the controversy. I just feel like they slowly started to phase out. Like I, I started to hear less natural hair gurus really boast this product and it just, it seemed like it kind of disappeared. Like I, let me know your thoughts on it. And I'm most curious to know, are you guys still using Diva Curl? Like is anyone actively at the moment using it? Because I feel like when we see these things happening as far as the backlash that they receive due to people's hair falling out, we have to realize that for the most part, this probably was, these people were more so the exception than the rule. However, that does not negate the fact that there was a problem. Like the, the product is problematic. If one person's hair fall out, it's a problem for that person. So say out of all the people who tried the product, let's just say only one out of 10, you know, that was an issue for them with their hair falling out. Like you're like, one out of 10 isn't bad. Like only one out of every 10 people were having issues. That's not bad. But then when you look at it on a scale of like hundreds, thousands, millions, you see how many people are truly affected by it. So I'm wondering what that other, and I have no idea what the percentage is. I just threw it out there. But I'm wondering what the remaining 90%, what they think about the products, if that deterred them from trying the product, or if they're like, no, product still is bomb. You know, still bomb for me. So yeah moving right along next brand and you know what this brand i feel like they kind of as quickly as they came up they kind of fizzled just as quickly too like i feel like their rise and fall was within a relatively short time span like maybe like a year or two and i feel like it was eco style gel like i feel like people went hard on it and not that people don't use it anymore so this is kind of like a separate i'm not really including this in brands that fell off but it's like an honorable mention um people like went crazy over it and then like nobody really really talks about it anymore and i don't i don't know why because i still use the eco style even though people were saying that they had issues with their hair falling out like i still use it i mean i don't use gel that often so maybe that's why i don't know but i never stopped buying it okay and i feel like a lot of people who said it was canceled it's still back in y'all stash so i'm just saying Moving right along to the next and actual <laughs> brand that I want to talk about. And to me, in my opinion, this was one of the pioneers for like the natural hair, like culture kind of, like not for the culture, but for like the natural hair culture. And I feel like how you cultivated your natural hair journey, or maybe it was just for me, but it's Carol's daughter. And the reason I feel that way is I used to work at Lenox Mall. If you're not from Atlanta, you might not be familiar with, is that a popular mall? If you guys aren't from Atlanta, like I need to know because I feel like everybody, like they'd be so excited to come to Lenox Mall and I'd be like, we should just let everybody else like, why I like it here but um, I used to work there and right next to the store that I used to work in they had a Carol's Daughter store and I used to go to that store all the time before my shift started and after my shift started if I wasn't closing that night and just the whole vibe and mood that they had when you walked into the store, like people were so like attentive. They were giving you like samples to try this, try that. They were so knowledgeable. To me, Carol's daughter was the Mac of the hair world, like the natural hair world. Like, I, you know, that might be a bold statement, but I really feel like it was because I feel like it wasn't just any old body like working at Carol's Daughter or it wasn't at the store that I went to. I feel like it was people who actually were knowledgeable about hair care and knowing what products to recommend. And it was just like nothing for them to be like, okay, yeah, try just this, this, and this. And then they give you a sample. And then also like they had the body products as well. And it was just, the price point wasn't crazy, crazy high. 
but it also wasn't for like it was nothing to sneeze at either so i felt like it was that middle of the road where you felt like you were getting luxury for somewhat of a reasonable price um and i just i don't I, I don't know, just walking into the store made me feel like so good. And I really thought like, okay, Carol's daughter is about to just do something unheard of because shortly after that, I remember they opened a salon and they had several salons and I was trying to get an appointment booked because I wanted my hair done at the Carol's daughter salon. I think it was called like Mirrors. I think that's what it was called because if I recall correctly, when you would go get your hair done, you could see like they had mirrors on the ceiling so you could like see what they were doing and similar to diva curl where it was like a learning experience like they as in addition to doing your hair they taught you how to take care of your hair as well so i was i, I mean i just felt like they were about to be like they were going to monopolize the whole natural hair game and mind you this was like early in the natural hair game when it wasn't that much competition so i really thought like okay they're about to come in just put their stamp on it and Everything sounds so, oh my God, the German Shepherd next door is barking. Dash hasn't spazzed out yet. It's a strong possibility. If you know, you know. Um, but I thought they were going to put their stamp on and be like, all right, we got the game signed, still delivered. This is ours. So he just heard him. His ears are perked up. He's on the ground right now. Um, but I started noticing with all these new brands coming out and these smaller brands, I don't know if people didn't want to pay that somewhat premium price that carol's daughter's products had oh bubba's it's okay he can bark um the premium price tag that the products had and i feel like it was kind of like um similar to how you can go to forever 21 and get fast fashion for cheap or you can go to like a and i'm just using these stores because these are in linux mall so I'm not saying like these stores are significant of the only fast fashion brand or these are super high quality, but like then you can go to like Madewell and get something that's a pretty penny or Freely, Freely, Free People. <laughs> um, I'm pretty sure Freely is a, like a vegan vlogger who like has a lot of controversial things going on, but whatever. Um, free People and you can get high quality items that clearly are more expensive, but they're supposed to like make you feel better. And I feel like some people are just like, no, nah, I'll take the fast fashion. I'll take like, if it's working for me now, like, and I can only pay $5 for it, like I'm not gonna pay 20 somewhere else. Um, so I, I really feel like what killed the game with them, and this is gonna be my next brand who I'm gonna uh, come into shortly. We're gonna segue right into that, which is Shea Moisture. Um, but yeah, I just, I kinda was sad to see Carol's daughter go as far as how big that in my mind that I think they were. And again, this is all my opinion. So you might still think that Carol's daughter is on top of the world and be like, girl, what are you talking about? And that's cool too. You can let me know in the comments, but I'm just letting you know in my own, in my opinion. Gracias. So um, yeah, what, do you, what are your guys' thoughts on Carol's daughter? How do you all feel about, do you think it's their price tag? Do you think that it's marketing? Like what about it, what, what about it is it that you think caused them to kind of plateau and then just like taper off after that? Because I just, if you've never been, comment down below if you've ever been to a Carol's Daughter store. Like, I don't even know if they still have them at all anymore. I know they don't in Lenox Mall, but like that was an experience in itself. And let me know if you ever got your hair done at the salon because I want to live vicariously through you because it never happened to me, okay? So, yeah. And lastly, um, obviously, like I said, I wanted to speak on Shea Moisture. Now, you guys know, I think that I can safely and confidently say that I've tried 90% of Shea Moisture products that are geared towards like natural hair. Like I'm obviously not including like body, baby and men's products, but if it's geared towards natural hair, like 90% of it, maybe even 95, like I've tried. I feel like I pretty much, you know, can be considered an authority on Shea Moisture products, but that's neither here nor there. Um, but with them, I don't even think, and I feel like the obvious go-to would be when they um, were bought out by a larger company and they were no longer considered like minority owned or black owned. I don't even think that was the catalyst as far as, 
I honestly feel like it was kind of similar to Carol's Daughter in the way that you just had all these new brands popping up. But one thing that I think is different is Shea Moisture might possibly have oversaturated the market with their own products because after a while, it's like launch after launch after launch after launch. Mind you, I'm, I've tried them all and I'm going to continue to try them all. But I felt like I was like over inundated, like just when they drop one, they would drop another. And then also you like, what, when did you guys drop something? Like you go to their website, dust, go to their Instagram, dust. Like you would just see people just like trying products. Like I know one of the videos that I did, um, quite a few people were like, girl, you are the first person who I've seen use this product, mention this product. Where did you even get this product? And I went back and looked at Shea Moisture's, like their IG, their actual website page. And I'm like, what is the reasoning behind not marketing your own product until like months after it's launched? Like what? <sighs> I mean, is it like a Beyonce thing where they like just, oh, we just dropped it and it like markets itself? Because I I don't know why that like, I'm just like, just tell us, just tell us a product is coming out. Like, get me excited so I can know what to look for so I can be on the lookout. Like, just don't just drop. So like all of a sudden I'm just getting DMs like, girl, did you know Shane Moisture dropped out a new product? I'm like, how, when, where, and how can I get it? But I feel like that was Again, this is me as a consumer saying this, but it was just so much so fast. And <laughs> another main reason that people started to lose their mind was formulation changes. And I know some of the products that I used to once love, like that raw shade deep conditioner. I know for a fact that that changed because that used to be my A1 since day one. That uh, deep treatment mask, and it's not the same as it used to be. I felt like it had more shea butter in it before, but they would switch up formulations or product names would slightly change, like the Jamaican black castor oil one. Like first it would be like restore and grow, and then it would like change to something else. And then they would like tweak an ingredient. And you're like, girl, just it was fine before. Or if you are gonna change an ingredient, can you just like tell us and maybe a little blurb, a little little sound bite on like why you change it so people aren't just going to the store and being like, this ain't the same as what I bought last time. Like, what is this? And why is it working differently on my hair? Like, let me know so I can be prepared. You know, I can do my own research. But um, yeah, Shane Moisture, they just, now mind you, I'm still going to be there for every launch and drop. Um, because like I said, most people probably would, um, I feel, not, I can't say most people, but I know some people cancel them after that whole ad debacle. And if you don't know what I'm talking about, I can link my video that I did on it down below um, between that and them um, being bought out by a larger brand. I just, I honestly think it was just so much of their product in the market. It was almost like the product was competing with itself. In a sense, like the, the brand was competing with itself because it's like, they would drop like two lines at once and then you would have to do like an either or instead of like, oh, okay, if you drop this line, you know, here month one and then, you know, six months later, you're going to get another. Sometimes we'd be like, no, I'm only picking one. Like I noticed a lot of those situations, but again, that's just my, you know, in my humble opinion. But I thought this video would be interesting to do. I can think of plenty of many more brands. But I just realized I've been rambling for like 18 minutes now. And I don't want this video to be eight years long, but let me know if you A, find this type of content interesting and B, what your thoughts on, like if you agree with me, if you disagree with me, um, I mean, I'm right, but if you disagree with me, <laughs> crack myself up. No, but seriously, if you disagree with me, um, let me know and if you have any other brands that you were like, oh, so-and-so fell off too. Cause like I said, I have, a laundry list in my head but by no means does this mean that the brands that you know the aforementioned brands are unsuccessful that doesn't mean that at all it just means that they aren't at the grandeur that they once were you know what i'm saying they they aren't the titans that they once were as far as this was the go-to for this product and anything competing against it you know 
with squash. Um, so yeah, I think that is it. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Let me know your thoughts on it. And if you have any questions or comments, please put them down below. And don't forget to like this video if you did like it. Welcome new family members. Y'all know it's cookout season. I'm glad y'all joined. We got plates for y'all in the oven. You, you know what time it is. Or maybe you don't because you just, you just subscribe. But if you don't, now you do know. Okay. Anyways, um, I think that is it. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye, guys. Oh, I kind of feel like my old self with my little turban on. Go bike. Y'all, I took a whole nap in this turban. And <laughs> you see, she didn't budge like a whole two hour nap today. And she did not budge. Get a friend that's going to hold you up like this turban held my hairstyle. Get you a friend like that. <laughs>